What's up guys, me DocSamblekins.com and in this video I want to do something about Luna and the MPC Live 3. And this is kind of cool using this with this software. So obviously here I have templates. You'll see right here is a template. A uh, little click right there. It opens my templates up right here. Okay, pretty cool. Let me close this out. Cancel this. My chosen template is the MPC Live 3, uh, which is right here. It's already set up right now. So I'm going to go right here. Just click on this twice. It will open up. Oh, there it is. It opens up. And we've got my template lined up here. And as you can see here, I've got like 16 tracks. I also have this main output, right? And I've got this thing here, which is a blank track. I keep a blank track in here. Let me show you this. This blank track blank track is like a guide so this is a guide which means that once I start recording I'll be able to record from here to here and then it'll stop so this makes sure that it has a certain length to it right because uh, you, there's only way you can actually do it inside of here if I'm going to do this real time recording or even just to render out um, stems let's go back to where we're at in our channels here and you can see here of course it's 1 through 16 tracks right so I've got my MPC lined up right here. And what I want to do, first of all, is I want to go into settings. I go right here to settings. And while I'm here, I can see there's the I.O. setup. You see it sees all 24 inputs from the USB-C cable. It says channel right here, device here, channel here again, input and custom name. I can change the name. I'm not going to do that. I'll go to here, hardware. I'm set up for the MPC Live 3. I can also come back up to here. I'll go back to here. And these are still here. So you pick what you want to do. In this case, I want to hear back through my computer system. It says Telstream right there. And of course, this is my MPC Live 3 right here. So it still sees these outputs. If you don't see yours, sort of restart your computer. Make sure MPC Live 3 is plugged into your computer. Restart it. And it should see the inputs. If not, let me know in the bottom. I'm curious about that as well. So once that's done, I want to make sure my MPC is ready to go. So I think this is good here. I'm just going to go back here. and I'm back in my session. And what I want to do here in my MPC is I want to come to here. And I'm going to actually click here inside the track. First track of my Luna software. I'm going to press all here. Now they're all selected. All tracks are selected right here, right? And so I don't need this one selected right here, so I'm going to turn this one off. Let's see what to do right now. Turn that one off. Turn this one off. Good. We're good. And now I want to come here, of course, and I'd like to start recording if I can. But first, I want to make sure I can monitor the input. I'll press the I right there. And now I'm monitoring the input going into my NPC. I'll bring my main down a little bit. See, it's affecting all the other channels here, too. So I'm not going to try and do too much of that. And I just want to make sure I can do this. I'm going to press my uh, option. Oops, yeah, there we go. And I press my key to press them all down at the same time. There you go. That's much better. And I go back here, and I'm going to press uh, the control key. And I should be able to turn this fade up a little bit, my main. There you go. So that's a way that I can control all of them and control one of them. Next, what I want to do is I want to make sure that the NPC is ready to go. So I hit a drum pad right here. Drum pad there. And you'll see what's happening here, right? I hit these pads. You see a little bit of sounds here in the bottom there which is kind of cool. Now, in order to lock this in, I got to make sure my MPC is in a really cool MIDI area. So I want to go here to Menu. I'm going to press Preferences. I'm looking for MIDI. And MIDI Sync is right here. And to make this easy, as you can see right here, I've got everything selected here for you for the purpose of this video. So it'll be easier for you to see. This is all selected here. This is my MIDI outputs, right? I'm going to use MIDI input right here. So I'm going to get MIDI from my computer into my MPC Live 3. And down here I have enable MIDI ports when discovered. And I have MIDI control mode output, right, is MIDI port 1. And here I have MIDI clock. Receive MMC, which is a MIDI machine control, right? Great. I also have send here too if I want to use that as well. And that's how I want to set it up. So first of all, I need to go back here to my Luna and look for the MIDI, which is right here. And there you go. MIDI port one. Perfect. We're set up. I can do either song or pattern, but it works both ways. So I'm going to leave song right there and make sure the IOs are good, right? 
And you can see I'm right here, system. Great, now I'm gonna go right back up to where now? I'm gonna go back up to here. And next, what I wanna do is sort of like, see if it'll play my NPC. Oh, see it going? See the line go back towards the top? Let's go back here to main, and I'll press play. Okay, now you see it moving. Great, fantastic. And you see, of course, here, there's sounds moving here in the bottom. So I can sort of bring these sounds up a little bit more. See? And you can see the levels rise up down here. Now, for example, if I press stop right here, you want to get your tracks properly in here. All you got to do is hit the pad. Let's say I hit the pad right there. Not loud enough. I'm going to go ahead and turn this up. Oop, right there. Like that. Then I see it louder on track one. I'll turn it higher. Track one, louder, louder, louder. Now, one thing I want to make sure, too, that while I'm doing this, I want to make sure I see the input to the Studer A800, rather. Uh, that this is not going to be too loud. And, you know, I'm going to go to zero. I'm going to keep it loud enough. I'm going to press play here to see how it runs. Oh, look at that. It's too, that's too heavy. I'll bring it down some. Too loud. Bring it down some more. Oh, she's tamed there. We're tamed there. I'm going to go a little up a little here. Oops, that's too loud. Hmm. I think that's good. I'll go down one more right there. Yep, that's good. What if I see too loud? Let's bring it down. And these are the view meters. Now, once that's good, I'm ready to go. So I'll go to here. I'll press stop. It stops again, and then my NPC stops. To make it easy, I'm going to click here and press record. So now we can record all the tracks at once. And I'm going to go here, and I'm going to go back to my other window. I see we're ready. See, once I press record like that, it's looking at this track right here. This track here called my blank has a blank track in there, a blank file, a blank audio file, a blank audio wave file, right? And so it measures how far it's going to do this for. And I just need to come here and go like record. It gives me a count off. And it starts to record. And you see it's starting to record all the music in there. And that's how we can sync our MPC Live 3 with Luna. Pretty simple to do. Any questions hit me up also. You know, we know how to work Luna all the way. All the way. <laughs> and... It's kind of a cool software. I like it a lot, actually. It reminds me of being in a real recording studio. I have a nice warm sound, which I do love a lot. So anyway, any questions, hit me up at the bottom. Of course, I do lessons. Visit samplekings.com. I just want to begin this video. And we can set you up and teach you more about Luna, how to use it, and work with you and your Lunar. We also do mastering mixing for you as well. Any questions, hit me up. Also, leave some comments in the bottom. Uh, anything you want to know about Luna or about our service or whatever. I'll see you in the next video.